Okay, you guys, so this is our travel day. We're heading home, and we're getting ready to pack, and when we woke up this morning, I just wanted to share with you guys, it was so weird, because I never remember my dreams. And I remembered my dream this morning, and I said, hey, it's so funny, I had a dream about Karev from Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and Sean goes, I had a dream about Grey's Anatomy people, too. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. Well, what's really weird is we didn't watch Grey's Anatomy at all on this trip. And I don't watch it hardly at all. Like, she watches it, and sometimes I hear it in the background, but I don't even watch it. But my dream was I was with some of the doctors from Grey's Anatomy, but we were all working at Wendy's, and we were all getting yelled at by the manager, who was a real jerk. And then we were all in the back, like, break room drinking Frosties and talking about, like, how difficult this job is. I feel like that would happen on the show, too. Like that one time when they were slapping each other's arm to see if it hurt, if it was like a level one through five. Does anyone remember that? Because we're in the very beginnings of Grey's Anatomy. But anyways, my dream was Karev was working out, and I was doing a YouTube video for him, and I was teasing and making fun of him, and he was taking it personal. So I had to explain to him that I was joking. That's about it. That's all I remember. But anyway, <laughs> I know. How exciting, right? But the, the exciting part and the weird part is we had the same people – in a way. In our we dream. both dreamt about the same TV show, but completely different <laughs> Maybe it's because I was talking about Grey's Anatomy on one of our last videos. Remember when the ice cube fell down? But anyways, you guys, it's snowing again. Yep. The snow melted and now it is falling again. It really did melt yesterday. And so we want to show you what the house looks like so you can see where we stayed and how beautiful it is. We've been talking about it and now you get to see it. Yep, and also I would like to just kind of throw in here that this particular bed and breakfast is owned by one of my friends who's a real estate agent, and it's called Sleepy Hollow in Scottville, New York. After our stay here, I definitely recommend staying here. If you're thinking of a place in New York to stay at, this place gets five stars for me. The, the cabin is absolutely beautiful. We're about to show you, but the scenery around here you've seen in our vlogs some of the some of the prettiest stuff I've seen in my whole life. And I can imagine that if you were here in the fall and even in the summer, so any time of the year, in all honesty, take the coronavirus situation out, spectacular place to come visit. Yeah, we want to come back now because I would imagine this is a completely different experience in the wintertime when the ski slopes are open. So I want to come back when the ski slopes are open, but then I also want to come back in the fall because you can just tell by looking at these parks that with the fall colors and stuff, yeah. It's, it's got to be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Definitely a magical experience. And we were talking about our favorite experience here. And for me, it was just the bonding time, especially with our dogs. And we debated whether we wanted to bring all three of our dogs before we left, but we're so happy that we did because we were able to bond with them. And I think it was just such great food for their soul even. Yeah, we were like on the fence because... You know, if we bring them, we knew we would have to, like, keep them crated and stuff at times. And, um, you know, but and it'd be stressful driving 25 hours with three dogs in the car. And everyone's, like, thinking we're nuts. But, honestly, this trip was much more enjoyable because watching these three dogs explore with us, like, they, they're just like us. They knew they're in a new place. They knew that we're on an adventure. And all of them had, like, their adventure hats on, running around, especially Charlie, like, Charlie's up looking out the window, sniffing everything. When we went to Niagara Falls, they had just as much fun as we did. So it's it's been it's been quite the adventure. And, and watching Enzo, I learned a lot more about his personality and you know who he is as a dog. Getting him out of our normal routine, he's he's way smarter than I gave him credit for. Yeah, and in our last video, Kelly, she she's our girl dog, but she doesn't act like a girl at all. And it's so funny because we call her like our little country girl dog, you know. Because she's like jumping on me, getting me all muddy, and messing me all kinds of up. But I love it because she could teach me a thing or two to just relax and let the mud and the filth and the dirt just happen because it's all about fun. And when we want to get her like little girly collars just to digress for a second, we never do because it does not match her personality at all. No, she has a zombie collar on right now. And it's cute because she has a sister that's adopted from, we actually became friends with these people um, because of the dogs and the experience that they went through which was tragic and so we try to get them together often but her other sister Kate she's so girly <laughs> I, I, Kate, Kelly is not okay but when I'm talking about dirt on me I'm girly and I 
I don't like getting dirt and filth on me and Kelly was definitely getting it all over me and I just have to embrace it and enjoy the fun which is interesting how dogs can teach you about life right don't get so uptight about things it's all about uh, enjoying your experiences with the people that you love and taking your focus away from the stresses of the world and putting your love living through love life is about love people mm -hmm. that's what i'm trying to say i'm trying lessons from corinne and sean <laughs> my hair is sticking up through my hat funny we should probably get going we probably talked your ear off long enough so you guys check out these photos the video we'll see you soon <laughs>